Here's why fans of The Real Housewives will like Below Deck and its franchises. The fact that The Circle and RuPaul's Drag Race coexist shows that not all reality programming is made equal. Fans of The Real Housewives will discover that Below Deck gives them just as much momentum as Neen Leakes, Bethany Frankel, Gazelle Bryant, Sanja T. Morgan, Teresa Gaitis, Ramona, or LVP. Tease apart. You will get the impression that you are seeing The Real Housewives of Miami or Every Housewife Vacation ever with Captain Lee, Captain Sandy, Below Deck Mediterranean, and almost every other member of the crew. Because Bravo broadcasts both Below Deck and Real Housewives, there are similarities between the two series in terms of tone and watching experience. After the season ends, Andy Cohen gets together with the cast on a sofa to discuss past issues and clean house together. After watching Luan and Sanja, welcome to Crappy Lake, stream Below Deck on Peacock if you like steamy messing about and seeing it get cleaned up and wondering what would happen if Jenna Lyons were a yacht captain. Here are some reasons why fans of Housewives will like Below Deck and all of its franchises. Women at Home and Boats Naturally, the housewives have a long history with boats and are well known for pushing the boundaries of conventional entertainment. Recall the time Kenya Moore rented a pontoon boat for the day on The Real Housewives of Atlanta and dumped Kim Field's Tupperware snacks overboard. Recall the episode of The Real Housewives of New York City when Heather Thompson entertained everyone at her Berkshire's home. Is this the house or the garage? and Ramona hurled a wine glass from the boat at Kirsten. Or how about the time Adriana invited all the girls to her boat to film her terribly choreographed music video while they were all on The Real Housewives of Miami? It is almost a given that there will be some kind of altercation resulting from scuttlebutt and controversy for The Real Housewives, regardless of the size of the boat, the weather outside, or the beverages in their cups. Say boat, say boat, say boat, chick siest levi. The essence of what it's like for visitors to rent a boat is captured in the lyrics of Countess Luan's club slash discotheque track. Chick siest levi slash siest bon slash siest bon. Which means life is elegant slash it's good slash it's good. Every episode of Below Deck has a quirky flair, loads of champagne and caviar, glitz and glamour that the housewives would really love. Aboard a rented motor yacht in the Mediterranean or Caribbean Sea, caviar and champagne are standard fare, but many of the guests aboard Below Deck put the housewives' name-calling, glass-mashing, and wig-pulling to shame. Consider the following examples. The repeat customer who insisted on supper being served at exactly 8.30 p.m. The charter visitor who insisted exclusively on eating pink and green gumballs. And the person who required flawless Wi-Fi in the middle of the ocean. These are the real-life examples of housewives' situations. Ship occurs. The women of the Real Housewives of New York City embark on an iconic and terrifying boat Ride off the coast of Bogota, Colombia, in Season 10, Episode 17. Not unheard of for everyone involved, after a night of drinking and arguing, everyone faces both actual and symbolic choppy seas ahead. Severe waves and a menacing storm serve as a lyrical reflection of the conflict and squabbling inside the boat. Though these ships are opulent and well-equipped, there isn't much room for everyone so it seems reasonable that tensions would escalate as the tide rises. Even though the team had to halt shooting because of the choppy sea, this episode, one of the greatest of season 10, made a huge impact. As you are aware, housewives tend to be choosy and extravagant, so in theory, a boat is the ideal form of transportation. But in reality, that's not always the case. I'll walk the plank if you can show me a real Housewives franchise, including a peaceful boat excursion. But without the drama, would watching Below Deck or The Real Housewives truly be any fun? Episode 11 of Season 3, The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Model, entrepreneur, and housewife Cynthia Bailey of Atlanta, 
chartered the motor yacht Eros with her daughter Noel, her mother Barbara, and her closest friend Claudia Jordan in the third season of Below Deck. The team was eager and able to go on this planned birthday excursion for Cynthia, but the weather wasn't. Cynthia's birthday was spent tethered to the dock due to unfavorable weather conditions, a regrettable concern for those who hire boats. But happily, there was enjoyment to be had when the weather improved. This episode's repeated use of the term South Africa by Claudia and Cynthia to refer to Emil, the South African crew member, is one of the more memorable ones. Although it reminds me a little bit of the moment from Mean Girls, Emil at least learned something from it. Ultimately, Cynthia's vacation with her friends and family was enjoyable, and they produced the crossover that Bravo viewers were all in need of. Turtle diving and unsettling isle. That's precisely what you should anticipate from the chaotic evenings out in Below Deck. If you're acquainted with any of the The Real Housewives series, you've probably seen Ramona Singer brandishing a bottle of white wine, dancing, stumbling across the pier, and yelling turtle time at the top of her lungs. For those who are unaware, turtle time is a concept that Ramona Singer and the other members of the Rarejo and Nai crew use but it still has a significant impact on below deck. The crews play and drink just as hard as they work, and at the conclusion of each charter, they typically get to get wasted and party hard as a means to decompress, strengthen their bonds as a group, and you can only imagine what else. One of the prominent destinations in below deck is Street Thomas, where Ramona made her broadcast debut during turtle time. It offers a space for the guests and staff to let free and behave like, well, turtles. Have I brought up turtle time? It seems that most of the people on Below Deck like going out to parties, much as Ramona does. Occasionally, charter passengers choose not to tip, although they are few and far between. From the time of boarding until disembarkation, the passengers seem to have an endless supply of booze, while the staff is permitted to consume alcohol both on and off the boat. Some of the customers are so picky about the booze they drink that the staff sometimes has to place special orders for bottles to be delivered to their locations by boat or, less frequently, helicopter. Fans of Housewives will know that tequila is a favorite choice for visitors and that it's a necessary component of every vacation. Recall when Lewin slipped into a bush? Dorinda stabbed herself with a steak knife, do you recall? While excessive alcohol consumption doesn't necessarily translate into a nice time, it can make for some pretty amazing reality TV. Take a deep breath and enjoy life above and below deck if you like seeing housewives get a bit too dirty.